Warning, this game contains scenes of intense violence, blood and gore, nudity, strong language, and sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. And with that, let's get into the video. Alright, so welcome back to some more God of War 2. In the last episode, we ended off uh, dying like four times or more, probably more, to a stupid fucking jump. Uh, I also went ahead and just uh, held a X held X through the first upgrade of Athena's Blades because they take a little bit of time. And I'm just ignoring uh, Typhoon for uh, the rest of that little jumping part of the game because that is stupid and I don't feel like doing that. So we're just gonna head right back on out here. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's probably exactly what we're meant to do, is head back out. Because... Oh, that wasn't the way that I meant... what I meant to do. Because if we also... Eh, we don't... Oh, I think I understand what that part is doing. So what I want to do real quick... Is, uh, give me that camera angle change, please. Okay, uh, so if we do that, that is still there. Maybe? I don't... I don't know. Whatever. It's whatever. I want to get into that chest, but I don't know how to. So you know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna have to ignore it. That's what I think. I don't feel like using brain power to figure it out. Then again, I like never use brain power, so shocker there that I don't want to use brain power. Okay. Oh, as soon as I did that, I was like, oh shit, is that going to work? Answer, yes. Yes, it does. Alright, um... <laughs> ah, there we go. Gotcha. You're welcome, Prometheus. And now that that's happened... Hey, I did what you wanted. Prometheus from the torment of the gods. His flesh has tainted the fires of Olympus and embodied it with the power of the Titans. These ashes will give you great strength, Kratos. Take them within you, and use the strength to defeat your enemies. Okay. So are we just, like, heat-resistant now? Because that'd be cool. Oh. Let the rage of the titans fuel your blades. Rage of the titans. Okay. So instead of like in the previous game we had the kind of Spartan rage, now we've got rage of the titans, which I, I assume is pretty mal. Which I assume is the same, fairly similar. Yeah, it's it's pretty much the same. Yeah. And we just nope, no, no, I no. You see, you just get to die. And you, no, no, and you also just get to die. This way. Okay, I didn't think we were gonna rip his own arm off and use it as a weapon against him, but hey, it's what we did, so, <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Uh, right, so we gotta go this way. Nope, this way. There we go, and one more, and then slide down. Perfect. 
easy enough. So now that we've got the Titan, the uh, Titan's Rage. Ah, no, it wants us to do that. Perfect. There we go. Open that. Open this. Now they're Gorgonite. Nice, nice. Alright, so now that we've got the Typhon, Titan's Rage, now if we go back to Typhon... Oh, wait. No, we've got Titans, not Giant. Okay. Or was or was he a Titan? I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was a Giant. Typhon, Typhon was a Giant. I think. Maybe. Ah, you know what? Let's go. Let's just head back to him here and let's see if if he's going to have a different reaction to us. Or if it is still just the stupid jump. What are our options? Because my guess, just the stupid jump. Oh, right. And this way. Alright, so let's save again. There we go, save right there, the save slot. I think that might be the tenth one finally, but meh. Not a concern, not a problem. Alright. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like he's got any noticeable reaction to us. At least not right away, not right away at the very least. So... Alright. Yeah, you can't make that jump. It's not a jump that you can fucking make. It's so dumb. Alright, um... But you would fucking have to make that, because there's nowhere else that you can currently go. That's so stupid. Hmm. Alright, you know what? One of these jumps I'll finally make it. It ain't that one. So I'm just... I think I'll just make a cut until I finally make this stupid-ass bullshit jump. Or until I get so annoyed of doing it that I just Google the correct way. Which, chances are, I'm probably just gonna immediately do that. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna Google it and find out. Alright, so I looked it up and now I'm actually even more confused. Because, uh, it makes it sound like, uh, we don't have to care about that spot over there whatsoever. So uh, that's what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna not care about it. There's also apparently some chests that you can uh, melt to get the items free from, but that would have been pre-me throwing the pillar down or whatever you want to say, however you want to word that. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore that and keep on, keep heading back or head back. At least that's what I thinks. That's what I'm thinking. So we just need to go this way. And I believe we were good to just jump right down this way. Yep. There we go. Fantastic. Nice and easy. Because it seemed like uh, from the part that I read is that we just need to go back and free our Pegasus from uh, Typhon's Palm. Unfortunately, I don't really know exactly how to. Because I wasn't paying quite that close attention to what it was. Could you grab the chain, please? Oh my fucking gr grab the goddamn chain. Thank you. That was, you know, Okay. Alright.
There we go, and then back onto the palm. So the thing with this is that it tells you to go backwards through the cave to free his hand, to free Pegasus from the hand. That is, god damn it, this makes no fucking sense. Because if you go back, this is as far back as you can go. So how the what? So how the fuck are you meant to get back there? All behind the pulley system. Okay, well, maybe I can check that. That still doesn't make any frickin' sense to me. Yeah, fuck you, game. I'm not going down the chain that... Because that's just dumb. Alright, let me get back to Typhon's Cave and I'll be, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're actually back at the entrance of Typhon's Cavern. And I just noticed uh, this little thing up here. Because I happened to, you know, have this view of it for a brief moment. Which makes it to where we can actually go over here. Which is an area that, yeah, we could reach previously. But, there's also that. And now, now I believe we can climb up. Because, you know, they, they couldn't just make it something that you could actually easily spot. Even though, yes, it does definitely show you how to do it. Yep, I already know this game. Which is why we just kill him immediately. And there we go. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't matter. How did... How did I get up here already at some point or another? Oh, right, because you could jump up here from down the- God damn it. This isn't near as helpful as I was thinking it was. Never mind, my thoughts didn't matter for the thing that I just saw. Hmm. I don't- Oh, wait. Never mind. I understand. Yes, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Professional. That was the like the one part that I did actually figure out from reading. Okay. There we go. Nice and simple. And we can R1 that. I'd be willing to bet that there's... So there is that little pulley bit there. But I think that's how we normally got down. I don't really need the magic. Oh, that's just a... Weird look. Alright. Goodbye. And I guess it's actually more accurate to say that these guys are undead satyrs rather than satyrs. But, that's beside the point. That doesn't really matter. Alright, there we go. And get you two. Goodbye. I don't know if the game has a different way that it wants me killing these guys, but this is the way I'm doing it. Alright. So, now that we do finally have ourselves going... Maybe in the right direction. Hopefully in the right direction. Let's go ahead and save again. And apparently that last save slot was not save slot 10. This one maybe is. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. But that doesn't matter. Alright. And travel along the ceiling here. With awkward controls. Because, you know, that's just the way that this works. I don't know if we can really uh, take an actually jump from one point on the ceiling to another, but it's fine. 
doesn't really matter when we can just, uh... Ah, well, that's not quite what I intended, but it's fine. This is all I meant to do, and I just pressed it early. There we go. Doesn't matter, though. They're all dead. Alright, and we can figure out the... No, this way. go and over 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 and up I think jumping does actually make it take a little bit less time could could you could you thank you all right Um. Okay, um. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I... Okay, so we want to go ahead and just smack his fingers here a little bit. And then we can trigger that, just get all of the fingers up, like so. There we go, because that'll free our Pegasus. Um, Mr. Pegasus, could you, like, not stay underneath where his hand most certainly still is? There we go. Doesn't matter. Could use the save point, but meh. Or the health, but meh. It's whatever. We'll take the Pegasus. Alright, get me the frick out of this stupid cavern. Alright, please, please. X for forward dash slam. Okay, I, I don't know why you needed to tell us that part, but it's fine. Kratos, behold the island of creation. Home to the sisters of fate. Oh, okay. Here, the path to your true destiny begins. I guess they have... The island is fraught with danger. I guess they've got it their own island in this game. all from reaching the three sisters of fate. The power of the sisters will allow you to return to that moment when Zeus betrayed and killed you, Kratos. Thus changing your fate and the fate of others. Deal. Sounds fun. Right, uh, these guys might be easier to deal with if we, uh... There we go. There we go, fantastic. Yeah, you guys just keep coming right on into range of my attacks, please. Perfect, 
That's fine. It's fine. There we go. Triangle of Griffin one down, three left. Now, there we go, Griffin down. I guess that was that sequence. So now it's time to fight this guy. Ow! Like, just die, please. Okay. Oh, we're in a high speed ch aer aerial chase then. Alright, there we go. Battle time. I didn't realize that it was going to be a quick time event. Okay, well, there we go. Problem solved. Oh. Well, there goes that guy's wing. He didn't need it anyways, it's fine. I don't need the rage of the titans to guide me. I guide myself. Good try, though, Gaia. Good try. Alright. The Temple of Lachesis. Alright. Alright, so let's see. It looks like it is pretty much just one path for us to follow, which does make this quite a bit easier. Unfortunately... Is that a... Who's that a statue of? Or is that meant to be a statue of the fate... Of one of the fates? I mean, that would be my guess. But I don't always know. Alright, so... Phoenix Feather... And a Gorgon Eye. So with this run, we... Oh, nope, not a Gorgon Eye. Uh, so with this run, we will be at minimum one Phoenix Feather short of uh, being full up on them. Because within Kronos' lair, there is a, uh, a Phoenix Feather. And uh, we did not get it. And I'm not going to go back there to even try. So, yeah. Too bad if, uh, if I want full magic. Which... I personally am not too concerned about, so we're just gonna keep on moving on. Alright. Nope, this way. Nope, this way. To this spot. There we go, and climb up, and oh man, I can't just grapple you guys to death, can I? No, I cannot. Nope, but I can do this. And now you're both dead.
And there we go. Dead and dead and dead and dead. Not dead. Not dead. Dead. Fantastic. Nice and simple. And up the ladder. There we go. Uh oh. No. Nope. Uh uh. No. No, sir. These are not allowed. These are not okay. Why are there so many? No, 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 no. No, no. Now see here. Now see here. Listen up. Th th these are a big no-no in my book. I mean, unless they don't have the... Good. The, uh, unless they don't have the Cerberus tr bigger transformation form, which... If they don't, then, th then it's not near as big of a problem. But I'm guessing that nor that, that 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 I'm guessing that they don't right now, but they will at the end of the by the end of the game. All right, and yes, there are chests right here for me. Thank you very much, and thank you again. And uh, they are not shootable. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if they are. It won't be the first corpse that Kratos has uh, destroyed. I mean, he only ripped the heads off of like all of the main corp, the important corpses last time. So yeah, that's that's, that's a thing. Okay. Uh, looks like we need to grab this. Okay. Press and hold R1 to attach to a crank. Hold down these. To open said cranks and I'm guessing that that doesn't stay open for very long yet okay so neither of them stay open for very long so where are where is the grabbable thing to keep the first one open that is the real question here Hmm. Because I don't think that we can easily make it into that space of the first door here. I don't think we can make that. Like, rolling I don't think gets us far enough to it. Oh yeah, yeah, there's no making that. Um, hmm. Well, where's the thing that we're meant to grab and pull then? Because there should be something I would think that we could use to help hold it open. Also, that's a hole there. Like, like you could just crawl through that, Kratos. Alright, um, hmm... So then... What would be the way to do this? Because there isn't an actual sprint. Hmm. I don't... I don't know. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh. I think I'm going to be forced to look this one up because that closes faster than what you can make it into that space. Because, like, the moment you release that, it's already halfway closed by the time you can really move again. Hmm. So, in that case... 
I, I will look it up. And, uh... Let's see about making our way through. So, yeah, give me just a moment. I'm going to look it up, and we'll go from there. All right. So after very, very shortly looking it up, uh, there, there is a thing that we were meant to actually grab and bring with us up and down here. So that does actually simplify things. Because, um, uh... Yeah, there we go. There it is, there's the thing. Because what we do now, is now we can do the same thing that we just did. Except now we can have a thing to weigh down the, uh, the floor button. Okay, put the body down. Pull the crank. Wait for it to bring us back down. Repick up the body. And then we throw the body. Okay, well, I, I thought you would actually throw it a little ahead of you. We put the body there, and we just pull this back. I'm guessing you could probably make it from there, but I'm gonna be me. And almost still fail it! Good thing I pulled it all the way back. Alright, could we possibly get another save point? Because, uh, we're at that point in time. Must find a way across to the island Alright. For there Easy lies enough. your path to the Sisters of Fate. Why do you aid me, Gaia? Zeus must be stopped, Kratos. The story of revenge has been told before. You know of the mighty Titan Kronos. So fearful yep. was Kronos of the Oracle's prediction that his own children, children would rise against him, that he decided to imprison them all within his into stomach. His belly. Rhea stood by and watched as her children were devoured one by one. But when the time came for the last of her children to be eaten, she was unable to bear another such loss and devised a trick to save the baby Zeus. Yep. Fed Kronos a rock. Rhea commanded the eagle to secret her son away. He was taken to an island far beyond the watchful eyes of Kronos. Watchful eyes, you say. Right before, you know, he just eats a rock without paying attention to see if it's his own kid. Very watchful, apparent, as you can tell. Swallowed a rock. Also, miss, missed seeing a bird grab a bait, the, grab the baby. It was I who kept him safe. I nurtured his desire to free his brothers and sisters from Kronos, but my foolish act of compassion would haunt the Titans forever. For in sparing Zeus. We allowed him to return to us with vengeance in his heart. He betrayed all of the Titans for the sins of just one. The sins of his father, Kronos. Yeah, he's a dick. Welcome to Zeus. Zeus being a dick is, you know, just... Pretty much is just, uh... Greek Mythology 101. Zeus is both a dick and I died. Zeus is both a dick and a guy that will, well, you know, just fuck everything. Alright. 
So we got this. It's gonna break. Not a problem once we know that it's gonna break. Okay, and then right in here. No, oh god, no, no. Now we know what they turn into. Kill the little ones. Kill the little ones first. Do not let them transform. Haha! <laughs> oh, yes, please. Oh, uh, button masher. Okay, easy enough. Oh, maybe they don't transform, considering we have three heads of yours that we can can, can rip off. Okay. You know what? Get out of here, mutt. I set out. It would probably help if I actually defend. Okay. The first one we just physically tear off. This one we pretty much cut off. Oh. Ow. Ow. You get off of me. It is me that does the attacking, not you. Yeah. Um. Oh. Okay, well that's a lot easier. Alright, um, open please, thank you, thank you. And we didn't use, like, any magic for that, so that's not a problem. Okay, and it looks like this is the way to go. Oh, wait a minute, these are destructible. Aha! Oh, I totally knew this was gonna be there. Definitely knew it was going to be there and definitely wasn't by pretty much complete accident that I just successfully did that. And good, there's a save point. Let's open these real quick. Uh, yeah, um, I know that I can just do that. So you guys uh, stand even less of a chance than before. Yeah, I don't know if you could have done this in the previous game with the... Uh, the ones that turned into Cerberus over and over. But if you could, that makes those a lot easier. And I kind of wish that I would have checked. Either way, for now, that'll be it for this episode. And until the next one, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.